Okay, today we're praying for Cornell University. Cornell's significant to me because I've been there several times and led several of their students on internships on four continents. And um, the, uh, the university has significance to missions history as well. And many people don't know it. There's a building on that campus. It's called Barnes Hall. It was built essentially by a student. He was in his uh, third year and he went away to that that uh, Bible conference that was led by D.L. Moody in 1886. And um, before he went, he had been leading the student organization on that campus. And that student organization was called YMCA. The YMCA was a Young Men's Christian Association, but it wasn't all about physical exercise, swimming pools and gyms. It was about Bible studies. And they were on the campuses at the end of the 19th century. Um, and it became the agency that fueled the largest student missions movement in history. And uh, John Mott was that student who in his third year had decided that the campus wasn't big enough for the meetings he was having. They didn't have a big enough building on that campus, so he decided to start raising money to build Barnes Hall. And while he was away, he had raised about $9,000. And this is in 1886. And he went away to, to um, this Bible camp with D.L. Moody and came back as one of the signers of that declaration, the Princeton Declaration, about being willing and desirous to go to the ends of the earth to preach the gospel. He became one of the first student volunteers. And thousands upon thousands, 130,000 in the next 30 years, signed that declaration. John Mott became the Secretary General, the leader of that movement called the Student Volunteer Movement. While he was away at that Bible camp, a businessman of some means donated the remaining 30,000 and they built that building. I've been in that building. I've preached and taught student organizations on that campus over the years. Uh, 500 Chinese Bible study students and 250 Korean InterVarsity students. And we've led teams into Ghana and the Amazon and to Albania and to uh, Mongolia and India, all over the world, doing internships that are missional. And um, so I'm trying to follow on that tradition out of the student movement to reach the nations. That is a tradition that I believe that God wants to continue in our generation. That's why we're praying the campus. You know, there are many buildings all over the world today. Barnes Hall is not really recognized for what it was built originally for. There are also cathedrals and huge edifices all over the world that took hundreds of years to build. And hardly anyone attends there anymore. It's not about buildings. It's not about structures and what you can accomplish in the temporal reality of this world. It's about what you can do for the glory of God and his eternal purposes. And so I leave that with you today, this Pray the Campus campaign, hashtag Pray the Campus, pray for Cornell University, significant Ivy League college that is still being used by God as students volunteer to serve in mission.